This is the, the feather I'm going to be using to tie the, the yellow may. It's a CDC uh, dyed yellow. Uh, I'm going to use a cinnamon colour just for the thorax cover. For the tail I'm going to use, this is just a, basically it was a cream coloured Chinese cock neck that I dyed. A uh, touch of fluorescent yellow and a bit of sort of golden yellow just to lift the tips up a wee bit. Now it's got a simple fly to tie, it's basically not a lot to it. The CDC flies are easy. For the thorax I'm just going to tidy the thorax up with a bit of SLF dubbing. And this one here is a, it's basically a fiery yellow which is a little bit of orange uh, mixed through the yellow as you can see there. You could make your own. Sunburst would be another good colour to use just to warm up the thorax. But to tie the, tie the yellow may, the hook I'm using, this is a barbless hook from Fooling Mill. It's a size, well in this case it's a size 14. You could size 14, size 12 is about the size. Um, yellow thread, AO from Uni. Now I'm just going to run the wax through, get me started. Now I'm going to start where the body would start and work my way down till I get to the bit point just before the bend and then remove the waist piece. For the tail, now there's two main two tail fibres on this fly. Now I'm going to take off four of these fibres and basically double to either side. Just figure eight through them really. I'm going to try and get them with the natural curve up the way. You're looking for a length just slightly longer than the hook. So offer the cut ends or the waist ends towards yourself then use that turn to sort of correct them and lift them on the, the top. Now that thread turn is onto the bare hook. So then what I do is I bring the thread underneath which will lift, separate the fibres. And then to encourage that then what you do is to get them to sit apart, is to do a figure eight through these four fibres. And then lock them on top so they really spread. They don't have to stay together, just they have to stay apart. So that spreads basically the weight of the fly, uh, gives it more a natural look. Uh, just to make sure that they're okay, that's fine. Trim this the length of the body, which is there. Now you could use a quill or whatever, or even the thread for the body. But I'm just going to stick to the whole CDC. Uh, it was the cr basically what I got asked if I could tie a CDC version. So I'm going to use the dyed yellow CDC for the for the body. Just hold the end of the feather, come up, and do turn round, and then pull the feather into the tip, nice and tight. And then we get to about maybe a mile or so from it, we work our way up, nice and tight. Now to protect it. You can put a tiny bit of super glue on. Now the super glue I'm using, this is a fully mill super glue. All I'm doing is taking any of the loose ends away. And just wind over, just forming a nice body. Just work your way up. It's easy to do. To this point, cross your thread. Returns now, a wee bit of wax on my thread. Come back up, trim away the waist. And there we are, there's my, my body. A nice colour, and obviously with the CDC feather, it does float really well. It helps to float the fly. Now, for the thorax cover, I'm going to use the cinnamon dyed CDC. This is basically the, the yellow and the cinnamon was a white CDC. Now, just line the tips up. Pull it in to the point where I want to tie it on. Now there, I did a wee bit thicker than normal, so just at that point, I'm going to go back just to set, get it to sit right. Two, three turns. Trim away the waist. Again, just a wee touch of wax. Make sure you get it caught in. And when you tie in the wing. Just going to bring this through the thorax. This will help colour it up. If you look at the natural, uh, the, the yellow may, it has a, a warm thorax, like a sulphur type colour. This cinnamon colour is ideal. Now I've got two feathers, two medium sized feathers. Now, 
I want the natural curves to curve away these feathers away from one another. So basically the outside is the inside of the feather. So what I do then is make sure the tips are lined up and grab the ends, draw these fibres in, hold the wings, wing length, loosely you're looking round about the hook length, tie it on top, nice and tight, two or three turns down, two or three turns in front, just to see, check the length, make sure you get the right length, if you're not happy you can always go back, you can always pull it in a wee bit, just to see how it's sitting. This looks okay. That's fine. Then what we want to do is get some dubbing. Just ignore it at this point. As I say, the dubbing I'm using is a, a fiery yellow SLF. So you could use whatever you like. Light, lightly dub it onto the thread. You could use a favourite dry fly dubbing. Just have to use what you've got. Bring some dubbing to this side of the wing, between both ends. Just check that you're tidy. Lift the wings towards the back. Now you can separate the tips, you could sort of basically cause them to come on either side of the hook. Draw them back and then you want the dubbing tight up against. Form your thorax. There's your I'll show you the wing, so it's separated. And then what we can do is, if you look, these are the waist ends. These are the tips of the CDC. You want to bring your cinnamon through both of these. You can see it keeps them apart. Tie it on top. Nice and tight. Now I'm going to put, make sure there's wax on at this point. Move the waist. Now you're obviously going to get some of the odd fibre going forward here so we can draw it back with the fingers and use a thread turn to hold them and tidy up the head area. Just keep the thread tight and go straight in and put finish. Ignore everything at this point. Two, three. your whip finish is tight, trim away the waist. Now the reason I'm leaving these, I'm going to be trimming them obviously, these are going to act as basically an aid to help float the fly as much as the wing. These, this, they, this does as much as what the wing does. And what we, what, to get the shape that we want, we come down from the top with a curved pair of scissors and we cut it in a way so that it's coming to the round about the centre of the body. So we bring both ends together and then we trim like that. And then if we want, we can just edge up the end of the CDC. Or we can lay them as entirely up to yourself. But we can just come in from the top and lightly trim the edge all the way down. And that will give us the nice fan shape that we're looking for. See how it's sitting. Fibers underneath, we can trim them away. Now this sits really well in the water. Uh, lasts, you know, have good, a good two or three fish easy, and then I'd always change it anyway, allow it to dry. So I have two or three in my box. And there we are, and that's your yellow made tied with the CDC. You can see you get a nice shape. It sits nice, certainly can see it from miles away. It's bright as flies, I say, you can ever. Uh, you'll never see in the river. There's a stonefly called the Yellow Sally, it's as bright as this. And the stonefly is a flat winged fly. And just make sure the eye's clean. Use a light hook. I mean, if, try and use as light a hook as you can, a dry fly hook. You see, this is a barbless. I like this wee upturned point that really hooks well, holds well. So it does, and I find it actually holds better set times than the barbed hook, so there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>